what is going on everybody and welcome back to another video today it is april 28th and i am five months on tea which is crazy how like fast it's going and also amazing um so today i'm going to be doing a update video on the changes i've experienced from this month um, from last month and just in general from being a uh, pretty so let's begin as usual from head to toe my hair if you haven't watched my last videos it's softer than before um, and something very new and exciting I'm gonna bring this in close I've got some hair growth like right here and here which is really random um but not on this side only this side if you can see um yeah super random don't know what that's all about um but there you go um as far as like you know hairline and and that that's i'm like 99 percent sure that's the same and hasn't changed um so yeah, that's hair on my head. Um, eyebrows, I'd say, are about the same. They're thicker and darker in general than pre t but from four to five months, they're the same. And I haven't been tweezing them or anything um, with quarantine. I'm like, eh, I'm going to leave it. Um, but I think they look great. I'm happy with my eyebrows. There's nose, mouth. That's all the same, but I have been getting a mustache. Um, I don't think you can see it um, on here, but my wife took a picture. So you can see that now in this picture right here. So definitely a difference with the mustache. Um, they're darker hair, long, they're longer. Um, I didn't have any of that pre t let alone even last month. Like there were some, but not nearly as much as there are now. So very exciting about that. I'm gonna let it grow and see, you know, see what happens. Cause you know, from camera to here, you, you can't even see it. So. It's, you can only see it if you're really close to my face in person. My skin is great. Um, I don't have any spots um, or acne. Um, everything has gone away. I do have a little bit um, on my hairline like up here, but they're so small and I think they're like white. So you can't even see them on camera. Um, but I, I've gotten that even pre -t, um, so, you know, and they're not noticeable or painful or anything like that, so. Next is going down from my face. Skin um, is the same other than that it's not as soft as it was pre -t. It's still the same in comparison to last month. It's just not as soft and a little bit rougher. Um, going down to voice the voice update i will insert that clip here hi i'm carly and this is my voice one day on t hi i'm carly and this is my voice one month on t hi my name is carly and i am two months on testosterone hi my name is carly and i am three months on T. Hi, I'm Carly, and today I am four months on T. Hi, my name is Carly, and today I am five months on testosterone. So as you may notice, I think it has definitely changed from pre-T to now, definitely. And even from last month to now, it's gotten lower, it's gotten deeper, 
it feels different in here um it's been raspy and like hoarse for the last well probably about a week but now i'd say maybe a little less than a week um so i think right now it's starting to drop um and it's in that range where it's like it's gonna be sore and hoarse for some time and then eventually will drop or maybe even sooner than eventually maybe in like a week I, I don't know i'm not a doctor but i think it's coming and i'm really excited um for that to happen um and it just feels different like in my throat if that makes sense if you're going through this you probably know what i mean but if you're cis or not taking hormones maybe you don't but it just feels really different um and my voice has been cracking so freaking much like especially this week like talking cracking singing cracking um but it's fun like I, it gives me euphoria and it's really exciting and cool moving down uh, i could talk about my voice all day <laughs> and i don't want to bore you um moving down to my shoulders um i think they've gotten a little broader um my therapist in the past thing had mentioned she thought they were getting broader um my t-shirts have been um tighter in that they're like my shoulders hitting where the line should be so like here's the line and here's my shoulder whereas before it used to like be down there maybe not that dramatic but um yeah and and i've been working out five ten, uh five days a week um with quarantine i've been turned into that guy where i just work out all the time um to keep myself sane and for mental health reasons um and also just because i want to build muscle like that's what it really boils down to um so i think that's you know playing effect into the shoulder and in general like muscle growth so moving down to see my arms see my guns um this is the, my good arm um there's muscle like here and um tricep it's starting to get toned yes there's fat but um it's a lot better than pre-season it's it it looks better than pre-season like when you can feel it like you feel the muscle before it was all just like fat um so yeah definitely getting some muscle growth slowly but surely down chest is still the same no change there unfortunately um i do want to pursue getting top surgery after corona is all over so we'll see about that um which i might make other videos eventually about top surgery when i start going through all that um but for now back to update um stomach is it's the same ish um i've gotten even more hair on my um tummy like below the belly button the glory trail i think it's called let me know down in the comments below what that's called i think it's called the glory trail snail trail um i counted them again because i'm a nerd and i have 11 hairs and i think last month there was maybe like seven and the month before that was only a couple so hair growth is definitely a thing um that has been happening and the last part really i guess would be my legs i've been getting more hair on my legs like it's gotten darker thicker i think i feel like there's more of it especially on my thigh before i didn't really have much or if i did it was like little like little short hairs um voice crack um so yeah some more muscle hairs on my muscle hairs oh my god if i could talk more hairs on my thigh and upper leg eh. um yeah and then feet the same they haven't changed um shoe size or anything um and the last other physical change that i'm remembering hopefully not forgetting anything else after this um would be bottom growth um and i'm not gonna go into details about that 
So you can Google that. Um, I've had a teeny, teeny, tiny little bottom growth. Um, just a teeny little bit, not much. Um, which is fine. I was scared last month, and in general, of bottom growth. But I'm not as scared anymore. Now that I've had like a teeny little bit, I'm like, okay, you know what, that's fine. Um, I'm, yeah, it's fine. Um, emotional changes, I feel like there's not too many, you know, besides like last month. And I, and I guess the difference from pre T is I've been hungrier. Um, I'm like, I can get frustrated or like annoyed easily, but coping with that and like getting better with, uh, my frustration, anger feels and coping um honestly that's really it and then a stronger libido but it's gotten way better the last two months um so i mean i i don't know for emotional that's kind of it i did not cry for the longest time and now it's like regular regular in that like i can cry again because i couldn't for the longest time i don't know why it's kind of weird but um I've been able to cry not as often as I was pre-team. It takes like a lot for like the tears to come down. Um, but when I do cry, it's maybe only a couple of tears. So that's kind of interesting. And, you know, I think that's pretty much it for the changes on feet. Um, so I'd say, you know, all in all, the biggest changes were voice drop. And there's another crack for you oh my god uh um voice drop change more hair growth as usual and getting more muscle slowly but surely which even you know you can't really notice on camera but i noticed and that's what matters um but yeah that's gonna be it for this video um i hope y'all are staying safe and healthy out there um i hope this video helps other you know people that are taking hormones um especially my non-binary people um because you know when i started tea and even when i was just researching there wasn't a lot of content on there for people who are non-binary doing tea um and actually i meant like no um this is a little tangent but like i did three months of low dose tea um, where I was only doing 50 milligrams of testem gel, which I've mentioned in other videos, and then I increased that dose to 100 um, for about a month. But then I had a rash, so I had to stop for a week. And now I'm on Andro gel, um, doing like 82 something milligrams of gel of Andro gel, and it's so much better than testem. And I already made a video about that, so feel free to check it out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Happy to chat. Um, so that being said, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe. Peace.